Hi friends, today's topic is data interpretation. Basics of data interpretation. Data interpretation forms an unavoidable part of all quantitative aptitude exams of SSC, RRB, banking, CAT, railways etc. In data interpretation, some data in the form of a line graph, bar graph, double bar graph, pie chart, table, flow diagram, Venn diagram is given based on the given data some questions are to be answered. Abilities required for success in data interpretation. 1. Sharp observation. Some questions can be answered easily through observation of data there is no need of application of mathematical formulae or concepts. 2. Quick calculations. One should be well versed with shortcuts to calculate percentages, ratios, operations on fractions, decimals etc. for your reference given a video link in description. 3. Effective time management. Data interpretation is scoring, but it consumes a lot of time, all students land up wasting a lot of time, one should be aware of what questions can consume less time and what questions can consume more time than required. 4. Concentration. Data interpretation requires a concentrated mind, the figures and calculations are complex so qualities like persistence and tolerance are required, long practice hours are must for success in data interpretation, a single error can spoil the entire question resulting in wasting time. 5. Mental math skills. One should aware of all tricks like quick and accurate addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, squaring, square root, cubing, cube root and other mental math skills help in approaching problems effectively. 6. Logic and reasoning skills. Apart from above mentioned qualities one should aware of logical and reasoning skills to tackle situations spontaneously. Tips and tricks which will be most helpful. 1. Put a lot of practice hours one has to solve all types of problems solving multiple bar graphs, pie charts, line graphs etc. 2. There might be five questions based on given data out of these three to four questions will be usually easy one or maximum two questions will be intentionally given to interrupt flow, identifying and avoiding such questions is one of the important abilities one must possess for success in data interpretation. 3. Sometimes there is a complex graph or complex data table and only one or two questions are asked. In such cases advise to leave those questions attempt them only when time left at the end of the examination. 4. The amount of calculations doesn't depend on the amount of data, sometimes the given data looks like very heavy, but it's very easy to crack a solution, on the other hand a smaller data might involve use of complex calculations. 5. Steps to crack data interpretation. A suggested sequence of steps while solving data interpretation problems. 1. Observing given data. 2. Organizing the given data if required. 3. Finding the mathematical concepts involved. 4. Looking at the data with respect to given data is to be considered or a part of data will be enough to solve the question. 5. Apply shortest possible trick to carry out the calculations. Note, point to be remembered. For a five-question data interpretation problem, if a student is able to solve it in two to two and half minutes exactly 30 seconds per question, it is considered to be a good speed, so success in data interpretation involves three best abilities. Observation plus calculation plus logical reasoning. I hope all of you found my tips helpful. If you like this video thank me by clicking thanks button, which is newly enabled in our channel thank you.